Hey everybody, Quote Marine here. Just wanted to make sure everybody is staying on the same page. I got a great question from Deb McCasson, one of my subscribers, and she was asking about the middle of the pinwheel, which is a great question. It was something that I couldn't figure out. And then I went online and I, I kind of found up, so I don't know who it was that had a great tutorial on it. I'll, I'll probably, I'll try to put it in the, um, in the link below, but this is how I learned it, okay? So you do a pinwheel, right? And you start doing pinwheels, and then you get this Mount Magellan or something in the middle because you have all the dog ears meeting in the middle. Look at that. That is horrible. But when you sew it, okay, when you start putting, when you put it on, you know, when you when you start putting it together and there's, um, you know, um, uh, it mounts on your fabric and you have your batting and stuff, it, it kind of goes away. But you can still feel it, all right? So here's how I learned how to do it, okay? You're just going to turn your pinwheel over, all right? And this is the problem. See the dog ears? See how they all meet in the middle? We don't like that. Okay, so the best way that I figured out how to do it was that I learned. I didn't figure it out, okay? I'm not stealing anybody's idea. All right, so you see this middle portion right here? You see that? See where it meets in there? Okay, you see that stitch line there? All right, so you're just going to cut. All right, so this little dog ear right here, you can take that off. That's okay. Don't worry. It won't fall apart. All right, the problem is not that dog ear, it's this part right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snip, all right, right to that little stitch line right there. Don't go beyond the stitch line, you see that? See that little cut, okay? And then all you're gonna do is, when you iron, you can iron it this way and then pull this this way, all right? And now look, see what happens when you pull that? We're gonna go to this side. Now look at the stitch line right here, see that stitch line? All right, look, don't judge me. I see that little loop. Don't judge me, okay? All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna cut right here. Just, just a barely above that stitch line. Just barely above it, okay? Now pay attention to both sides so you don't cut on both sides and you don't cross this stitch line. All right, I'm just gonna cut here. Make a nice little line. All right, so now it can be manipulated. Now let me put my iron on here. Okay, see that? See how it stands up now? You see that stand up? Now you can fit it where you want it, okay? Now I'm gonna put it this way. Okay, I can put it down. Now it's gonna, it's, it'll go where you want it to go. And that will make that little puffiness, Mount Magellan or whatever that is that happens in there, it, it's a little more negotiable, okay? Don't overdo it, okay? But if you do, hey, it's only fabric, it's only thread, all right? All right, so I'm gonna admit something to you. I cut one before and the metal blew out and I was like, it was, it was ugly, all right? Don't worry, don't panic, okay? I've done it a couple of times. Just don't snip beyond the stitch line and then just fold it where you want it, put your iron on it. Okay, let's turn it over and see what it looks like. Look at that. Yeah, you like that. Daddy like. Daddy like. See that? It works, okay? It's a simple fix, all right? Anybody have any questions? I know I know she's probably trying to race me to the end. All right, look, you better get the snipping. I'm going to get the stitching, okay? Remember, it's only fabric. It's only thread. Thanks for watching the video, and try to catch up.